Okay, so today I'm going to tell you how to find the offset to F name pool easily, mind you. Uh, it's going to be fairly simple. Uh, it's like the G names tutorial I put out a little bit earlier, but this is for any Unreal Engine version past 4.23 because that's when they changed from their T name array uh, or whatever it was called before to F name pool. That's what they well, they switched from G, uh, G names to F name pool, and that kind of messed with a lot of things. But the general idea is the same as in the last video, where it's supposed to be set up like this. F name pool holds every single name to every single object in the game, yada, yada, yada. And finding it is super easy. So what you're going to need is you're going to need reclass. I'm using uh, reclass EX. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open Cheat Engine. And you're going to want to have a game that's in 4.23. I'm using a game that I quickly whipped up in UE4 using the default template. You want to look at it through the process. Alright, so now what you want to do is like the last one, you want to copy the multicast delegate property string. And I explained this on the last video, you should watch it if, you, if you're confused. You want to search for the string. Now that's great and all, but you need to now verify. If you scroll up, you look at it, perfect. We have our none, we have our byte property, we have our int property, we have our bool property, we have everything. So, unlike the G names where you want to find the 8 bytes that are blank, this is super simple. What you want to do is you want to find, well, you can do two things. You can find, this is what I do, you can find the, uh, whatever that little thing is right here, the star and the none, and then you, yeah, do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the star and the none, and that's right here. You have our none right there. You follow, you see the star or the asterisk or whatever it's called. Like before, you want to right click, go to address, and copy the address's address. Now you want to go to new scan, and this time you want to scan for 8 byte, for an 8 byte as a hex. You paste this in, you do the first scan. And this time, it's different for G names, since this is F name, you want the first static address. You do not want to go through these and try to backlack it. You want the first static address. So let's add that real quick. Alright, so what you're going to need to do now is, it's actually not set up completely correctly, and I'm going to show you why in a second. But to explain it better, you're going to want to open reclass, and you're going to want to open the reclass file that I had that I created off of a reference I found on I think it was unknown hacks it's an f name pool reclass thing so you want to press edit f name pool and I have the class set up already so that you can view if it's correct so what you're going to want to do is let's let's see what happens if you put this offset if you hold up I, I screwed up let's see what happens if you put you can use the offset if you want. I'm just going to do the whole address to save time. But it's the same. Let's copy it. Let's paste it into here. As you can see. Oh, wait. I don't. I didn't select the thing yet. Let's select UE4 game. So as you can see, there is stuff uh, appearing here. But this is not how your F name is supposed to be. And that's because what you found is actually 10 bytes off. So what you can do is you can copy this address real quick. You can go into your calculator. You're gonna to wanna to select programmer calculator. You're gonna to wanna to select hex. You can paste this in here and then just simply minus it by 10 bytes. That's the easy way to do it. Now you can just copy that, remove the spaces, and there you go. You have your F, you have the correct address or offset, whatever you're doing for F name pool. And as you can see in the block data, Everything is set up exactly how it should be. So that's a little, that's for how you do it for 4.23 and up. And hopefully you had, uh, hopefully you were able to do that.